Hi guys, hello, hello, hello. How are we today? So, I am very tired. <laughs> so tired that I am, um, I don't know if anyone's there yet actually, should I wait? <laughs> Before I stop waffling. Hmm, go back to sleep. <laughs> my bits ready whilst we're waiting for people to join us. Mm -hmm. Hello. Hi, Tammy. Oh, right. Oof, 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 oof. Forgot to check. I was meant to check if I've got stuff. Right. Hello and welcome to the Jersey. So, mm, Jersey skirt, sorry, lunch. Jersey skirt, so along. We've got Alex back, guys. Yay! She's just said that she's online. So I'm very pleased that I have someone from the Sober It team back with me today. Um, so we are going to be making something that you guys have never, but we haven't done before. This was a request from one of you. Um, and I've had requests before. I've made up a few little Roma Ponte mini skirts before. And people have asked where the pattern is. Um, and um, there hasn't been, I've just sort of self-drafted it. So what we've done is we have done one. Now we need to do a big uh, thanks to um, Nicole, who has done this for us in a very quick, short time. So she has drafted a pattern. It's size six to 20. And there is a long one that should go to below the knee. And then there's one that is about the same length as Ava. I think it's a little bit longer. Now, the one that I'm about to show you, um, that I'm wearing is very short because I didn't, I only had this fabric really that was suitable and I wanted to make that one with you guys. So, oops, the one that I made to show you it is here and it is short. So, it's also, I had to cut this across the grain rather than on the grain. Um, so it's had to be kind of stretched in. I don't think I've got any uh, pleats in it, but it is just puckering a little bit. But let me, shall I go up? <laughs> there, mini, mini. Obviously, we'd only wear this with tights and nice boots. <laughs> Hi, Lorianne. <laughs> oh, anyway, um, Lorianne, it's Alex with us here today. Oh, so not Rosie. Rosie, bless her, has taken the time off. And hi, Pauline. Thank you so much for your generous donation yesterday. The girls um, flagged it up to me this morning in our meeting. Thank you so much. Um, so, yes. So, as you could see, this has got a waistband. The waistband will finish five centimetres deep. Um, and then I've actually, just to confuse mm -hmm. things... I have, because this fabric, you might recognise it, it's what we made the Emma dress and Alice top out of, but this fabric is actually a bit thin, so I have doubled up, so I'll talk to you about how I've done that, so that it's not too thin, because if you don't have any fabric at home that is of good uh, thickness, then you might need to do what I've done. So, yes, so I'm going to make the long version with you guys, if I can, if I've got enough fabric. Anyway, before I get started, I was just saying I'm so tired because I have been, I was up late last night and up early this morning doing all the orders from the sale. Thank you so much for all of you who bought things in the sale and I'm sorry to those of you that are international and we're not currently posting, but I do want to do something for you guys once we are posting again. So if you're an international person and or if you rather you live outside of the UK, make sure you're on our mailing list because when we're up and running with um, international orders again, we'll make sure that we put on a special offer for you guys so that you can benefit from it. And I'm sorry that you had to miss out on it this time. So, um, yes, this is our, we haven't got a name for it. We're calling it the Sew Along Jersey Skirt. So that's what we're going to be making today. A lovely, nice, quick and easy make. Um, big thanks to all of you who donated yesterday and who have donated throughout this Sew Along uh, fabulousness. 
Um, so we are putting up all of these videos as um, free because we want everyone to be able to access them. And so please do share them with whoever you think they might be um, interesting to. But if you can afford to come contribute with a donation, you can buy us a coffee um, at the end of this video as a thank you um, and can support us um, that way. So thank you very much. Alex has just put a link up to our mailing list. So yes, if you are um, outside of the UK, make sure you're on our mailing list because it isn't something that we're going to be able to put up on um, our social media channels. It will be something very special for you guys and the only way we can get to you is if you're on our mailing list. Okay, right. Shall we start? Oh yes, so yes, no, no, before I start, I was trying to say orders. So orders, I have forgot orders coming out of my ears, but I have done up until midday yeah, on Sunday, I have got all of those orders to take to the post office today. I probably have about, you yeah, know, quite, a couple of big bags um so i'm not sure how the local village post office is going to cope but we'll find out so um just bear with me with the other orders i am going to slowly get through them but um yeah i'll obviously do them in chronological order so i'll start with the ones first from sunday afternoon and then i'll start with yesterday's so rosie is also busy getting out all the copy shop orders um uh, she can only carry two big bags at a time to the post office so Although she probably can get more ready more quickly, she can't actually carry more. So we are trying our best to get the orders out to you guys as soon as we can. So, um, fabric. Right, first, let's just talk. Um, so, do, 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 do. right, version one and version two. That is what we're looking at. I think it's important to see that because we haven't got any photos really to show you, have we? So it's basically a fitted jersey skirt. Now we decided not to go with the maxi version because we just felt like the waistband wouldn't cope with it. And then it would be a different construction with other elastic and stuff. But I have actually got a jersey maxi skirt that I designed ages ago when I was pregnant or maybe not when I was pregnant it was after when on maternity leave and we haven't done that one so maybe I'll be able to get that one out um at some point but um poor Nicole let's not create more work for her right at the moment she's trying to get the ebook ready for us all so um yes so these are the versions you can see it's nice and fitted um there is negative ease so if we look at the finished garment so if we fit let's look at so I'm normally around a size eight to a ten in the UK sizes. So looking at size eight, that would make the waist 26 inches and the hip 36. So I'm in between that and the 10, which is uh, 28 inches on the waist and 38 inches on the hip. Now, if we look at what the uh, finished garment measurements are, on a size uh, eight, the waist is 25 and a half inches. So that's half an inch less. And on the hip, it's 32 and a half inches, which is ooh, quite a lot less. I wonder if that's quite right. I think it is. But basically, there's negative ease. So what that means is it should be smaller than you so that um, it fits snugly. I'm going to get Nicole just to check those because the hip negative ease looks very small. Sorry, guys, I didn't check that. It might be, might be, yeah. Uh, it's half an inch less on the waist and it's it looks like it's about three and a half inches less on the hips which does seem quite small but it might be an error i don't know alex could you just text nicole and ask her before i say things are wrong and they're not it might be it might be right anyway i have made up the size eight and i am normally um my bottom um, my bottom i'm normally 37 and a half 37 inches on my hip and I made the size eight and it's fine you can see I wanted it tight that to me is what it should be like so yeah I did that to check the ease and I think it's fine but that just implies that that might not be quite right that negative ease there okay so I have got this to make it out of so ideally this skirt is for Roma Ponte something with real sort of a good weight and stability but also with a good amount of stretch so this is a really nice Roma Ponte I made 
the Audrey out of this that we did together, and this is what I've got left over. I don't think I'll be wearing it as a matchy-matchy outfit, but anyway. Um, so the we've got just what we're cutting out, guys. We've got one piece, which is the um, waistband. Um, and the grain line is like that. And we have got this piece which is the front and the back skirt. So they're exactly the same. Really, really simple pattern this. Guys, if you are watching this and you haven't managed to download it, it is available as a PDF pattern. It was only added up yesterday afternoon when Nicole finished it. It's in our skirt section um, and there's a link to it in below in the description and Alex, I'm sure, will add a link to it shortly as well. So, um, yes, it's three pounds. We didn't want to charge much for it because you only get the actual pattern and then obviously making it up, you need to watch this. So if you are telling anyone about it, then they will need to, um, there won't be any instructions when they buy that pattern, there isn't anything. It's just a quickie that we've managed to squeeze in so that you guys um, can join in on this and then we then don't all have to start self-drafting things. Right, so I am now in that annoying point where I'm ne needing to sort out my lines, my stripes. So to sort out my stripes, what I am going to do is I'm going to pin them. However, let's just check. I wonder if I can put this a bit further down so you can see. No, no zip required, guys. This is a pull-on, pull-off skirt. Whoopie-doo. A really nice, quick little project. Um, but yeah, I am not going to have enough fabric, am I? Or maybe here. Yeah. Oh, well, we'll see. We'll see, it might be another mini, mini skirt. <laughs> so let's just get these lines. So when I'm doing stripes, I generally pin um, the selvages together, or in this instance, I'm not going, I haven't got a selvage, so I'm just pinning to create that fold line. So we need to cut two of them on the fold. Um, so if you wanted to, you could always, trace out the pattern and double uh, onto a folded piece of paper and then open it out and you would have two, um, one big full piece. Um, but for us, we've only got it like this. And the reason why we've got this is we based it on the Phoebe dress because um, that was the closest thing we had and therefore it was graded so we could adjust it. So that's why it's graded to size 20. I know we are increasing our sizes at the moment, but we had to work with something that we already had because we couldn't get this graded in time um, to extended sizes, which is why it's size 6 to 20. Okay. So, oh, you can't see anything that I'm doing, can you? Let's pull that back. There we go. So I've got this and I'm going to line it up the fold line on the fold of my fabric. So I don't think there's a right side or a wrong side to my fabric, but it doesn't really matter because we're not making any marks through the fabric, so you can fold it any which way. Um, the main thing is we just gotta cut two of them. So we will cut this one up and then we will do another one. And I've got to think about stripes and making sure my stripes, ooh, is it close fitting? Yes, it's close fitting. And the one that I'm going to be making with you guys is just below the knee. Um, I do believe it's the same length. I think she said this morning it was the same length as the 1940s wrap dress. So that is what we're going for. Now, I am five foot six and a half. That half counts for everything. <laughs> Um, five foot six, five foot seven, yeah. So um, if that gives you a gauge, if it's just below the knee on me, and I'm five foot six and a half, then that's um, a roughly how long it will be. But also you could have a look at me in the uh, 1940s wrap dress and you could see that. Right, now I'm gonna go cutting in. Cut, cut, cut. So I wanted to make a long one with you guys so that we can also, we've got then a version made up in the long length. But also, I also wanted to make it because right at this time of year, I am still wearing tights because it's not, you know, we've got had some warm weather, but certainly up here in Yorkshire, it's not super warm. So the little mini skirt that I've made that I'm wearing now, um, and again, let me just show you in case you've just joined in. This is uh, a mini mini version of it this is shorter than the version that's um with the line there and i made it so short because that's all fabric had <laughs> but 
But yes, I will still be wearing this for a little bit, but I won't, um, I would only wear it with tights. So I wanted to make a nice one for when um, it's um, more summery and I can wear it with a t-shirt. And I think we're getting some really warm news. So, <laughs> news from Nicole, the pattern measurements are correct. Sorry guys. <laughs> She did tell me something about the ease, um, but I didn't I didn't make a note of it. She did say, obviously, there was negative ease, but I don't think she said the um, measurements. So forgive me. I wasn't doubting Nicole's work, although it's, it seems like I was. Let's all, I was doubting me. <laughs> sorry, Nicole. Sometimes it's worth checking. Right. Okay, sorry, I'm faffing, but I'm now trying to create another fold so I can do another of these. And I'm just checking, yes, I've got enough fabric, wonderful. So I'm going to cut the same thing again. Um, so we're folding it again. And I am going to think about my stretches. <laughs> Couldn't read that. I was trying to read that. Something about my height. <laughs> Now, whilst I'm doing that, guys, I thought I could talk to you about what we've got planned for the next uh, couple of weeks. I realise now that we're sort of into a swing of these, and I think, you know, it's quite clear that we are all going to be in lockdown for quite a little bit more. Obviously, we don't know, but I imagine we've still got another three weeks or so. So I can tell you what other dressmaking patterns we are going to do so that you can um, be ordering them or um, be starting to cut out or think about fabric. So we know that we're doing the ultimate trousers tomorrow. And you also know, I think I've ordered some really lovely fabrics. I've ordered some black um, stretch cotton, um, which is what the ones that I'm wearing, and also the red stretch cotton. And then it's this really cute one, which is black with lemons on it, um, quite vintage. And another floral one. And then one really lovely one that um, we made the Elsie dress out of which is white with blue and it was sold out for ages and no one could get hold of it. And yeah, they've printed it again. So I'm hoping they'll arrive tomorrow at some point and then I'll be able to get them up online. So it doesn't mean you'll be able to make them or get them, obviously have the fabric for tomorrow because I don't know how fairies would bring it to you. Um, but um, yes, so that's tomorrow's and there'll be fabric. Next week, I thought we would do something a bit different um, and I thought we would do pyjamas. We are also going to change the schedule because I'm struggling to keep on top of everything now that I'm doing the online shop and my mum and dad are having to do a lot of childcare in order for that to be um, possible and I'm feeling quite exhausted. So what we're going to do is we're going to do Mondays, same as we have been doing, so double. So I'll do my kids session and then after that I'm going to do some kind of beginner session. So it might be making up something from Poppy and Jazz or it might be making up some kind of bag or some sort of easy project so that the beginners can join in. And then on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, we'll be doing our dressmaking. So what we've been doing currently on Wednesdays and Thursdays. So Tuesdays and Wednesdays um, next week, and we are gonna be doing the pajamas and the elderly top, so elderly top. So basically the pajamas is a PDF pattern that we've had for a while. And the elderly top is a um, little strappy uh, bias cami top that we can, um, uh, turn into a pyjama top for the summer and I just think the two of them would be lovely and I'm going to make them up in the Lisa Comfort fabrics. I know a lot of you bought them for um, the sale so I thought you might want to use them for that. I'm also going to try and get hold of a few more cottons so that if you're not really into kind of floral and pastel colours there are some other options as well. So I'll be looking at some cotton lawns and I'll be letting you know about those soon. So we're probably going to try on... Hmm, Monday I think and start to do the because I feel like there's quite a lot to get in in two sessions so I think I might try and start the pajamas on the Monday because it's quite beginnery the pajama product um, product Alex has just put the elderly top up that is also part of stitch school so for those of you who are a member of stitch school you'll just be able to download that pattern for free because you'll be a member and you will have access to it if you're not a member of stitch school you can buy it and then the pajamas you can also buy so we'll do pajamas some the pajama bottoms alex has put links up to those and then the week after i thought we should go back to a dress guys because it's coming up to summer um and i certainly don't have enough summer clothes up here 
So, um, I thought we could do the Eve dress, which is... Um, here she is. The Eve dress, the nice, like, Spanish summery one. So, and I'm also going to try and get hold of some fabrics that are suitable for that, because some of the Lisa Comfort ones are, but not all of them. So... I'll try and do that. So every one now, I'm going to try and get a little bit of fabric in so that you guys, if you don't have anything in your stash, you could get some fabric from us um, as a special little kind of sew along um, special for fabric. And then the week after that, I've had quite a few requests for the Pussy Bow blouse. So I'm going to do that. And I thought we could all do something that's yeah, a bit more of a tricky fabric, learning about that. And also we've got those little bias cuffs to do. And yeah, so that is three weeks of sew alongs, guys, for the dressmaking and the other elements I'm not yet sure on, but I will be sorting those out this week and Alex will be popping them up on social media um, or we'll be putting them um, and on our sew along page. So lots on there. Right. I'm now, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to pin what I've just, this skirt, oops, I'm just going to pin it on top. I'm not taking the paper off. Because actually what that helps me do is line up my stripes as well. It's a bit of a, it's a, bit of a cheat shortcut, but it is uh, saving me a little bit of time. So we're going to be busy, guys, aren't we? We're going to have a nice array of stuff to do. And I am trying to, you know, obviously I'm trying to vary what we're doing. But I also have to think about what's possible in terms of time in the time slots that we've got. So... Um, that's why I won't be doing anything that's too involved or fiddly because it will be just really difficult for us to do that. And I think a lot of us are here not just for the sewing and for learning, but also for the company. And if it's super challenging, then we're not going to be able to kind of chat along, are we? So, oh, I certainly am. I'll just be sitting here silently sewing. <laughs> hey! Mm. PDF Club members as well. I just want to do a correction on um, the pattern. It's out this month. It was, normally it's on a Wednesday, but we are just going to have to wait an extra day. Um, just a couple of things are a bit running late um, from the graders. So it will be Thursday that we'll be releasing it. So don't get disheartened if something isn't in your inbox tomorrow. It will be coming on Thursday. Um, and that's for PDF Club only members. The new pattern coming along. I did a photo shoot with my dad for it. Very exciting. <laughs> oh, so excuse the uh, not so glossy photo shoot this time. And also the fact that it's just me. There's no models. But what we'll do is we'll get it photographed properly once we're all back to normal. But I think in the photos we managed to do some nice close-ups and things. So I think you'll be able to see lots of it. And Julie and Nicole sewed three samples, so you can really see it in different fabrics and things. Right, I'm not going to say anything else, but before I know it, I'll be going, telling you about it completely. <laughs> there is a notch here, guys. We will need to cut that. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Need to cut that notch there, little balance notch. Right, that is done. Now we're going to do the waistband. So the waistband, we only need one. So we just need it on the single and we do want to put it across like this. Um, so the grain is going down like that. So my selvages are essentially here. Did Lisa say? Yes, Christy, I did say that. So the fabric that I'm wearing and the skirt that I'm wearing is not... Um, oh, glad you joined Stitch School. Yay! Um, yes, yeah, so the fabric that I'm making is... Um, Sorry, the fabric of the skirt that I'm wearing is slightly too light and thin. And I think that it will, um, yeah, it would have shown kind of pant lines and everything, you know, just too thin. So I have doubled it up and lined it with the same fabric again. So I'll make sure I talk you through that um, so that you know how to do that. But ideally, make it up in this fabric in Roma Ponte. But if you haven't got that in your stash, you could use a cotton jersey um or so or terry or something that's a i think a viscose jersey even with that would still be too thin even with a double kind of um layer okay that's pinned nicely so i'm going to cut along that so the waistband is 90 percent smaller than the waist of the skirt at the top of the skirt and that's so that the waistband pulls the skirt in and holds it 
So we might, you know, it's, I'm gonna recommend that you guys do try on your skirts afterwards. Is scuba fabric suitable? Yeah, I reckon scuba fabric would work. Yeah, definitely. Cause that's got quite a lot of structure to it, hasn't it? You sort of think when, if you wrap it around you and hold it sort of around you, I often think, would you feel comfortable with just that, you know, wrapped around you? As in like, for me, too thin a fabric, I wouldn't feel very comfortable. I'd feel on show. Cause this is a close fitting skirt. You need to have some thickness in it, I think. And it, you know, it needs to hold its shape as well. So it can't be a drapey, drapey jersey. Right, cutty offy. Not cutty offy, pinny, take pinnies offy. Right, dum. Now guys, you are gonna love how easy this skirt is to make up. I whipped up mine super quickly this morning. Um, and stuck my pattern together also this morning. Um, oh, I've not cut that top bit there. Let's just do that. So we don't need an overlocker. We just need our sewing machines. Right. Okay, cotton jersey. Yeah, cotton jersey would be fine, but you probably want to double it up. It's got definitely the right amount of kind of, it will hold itself, but it will still be quite thin. So it might be a bit too thin for close fitting. Right, so we're going to take the top. I am just going to check for the 50th time that this doesn't have a right side on the wrong side. I don't think it does. Okay. So top is slightly more, you can see it's slightly more curved in than the bottom. Um, and I'm going to line up those side seams um, and line up my stripes. Who else is doing a stripy skirt? Who's joining me in the stripe madness? Their eyes starting to go funny. Stripes aren't actually very good on screen, are they? I think they always say when you go on TV, don't wear stripes because it interferes with the whatever. I don't know. It makes everything, the screen go fuzzy. Plain navy. Lovely. Plain navy, that'd be nice. Nice little navy one of these. Running out of stash. I wonder actually, I just suddenly thought the company that we get our um that we get our stretch cotton from, I think they also do really nice Roma Ponti. I could see if I can pick up some Roma Ponti from them. Just in a sort of I don't know, a navy, a black, and maybe one other colour. I'll see if I can. I can't order too much as I think my mum and dad would have a heart attack about deliveries. They've already like, we've turned into the sew over at depot up here. Endless deliveries of envelopes and everything. So, and my mum's being super cautious and leaving everything outside or in our porch for 24 hours just to make sure it's germ free. You've had enough of stripes, <laughs> Charlie. Oh yeah, that sounds very difficult. Doing the Juliet blouse in stripes. Oh no. Is Ponty okay? Yes, absolutely. That's what I'm using. Roma Ponty. Perfect. Mm -hmm. I really need a cup of tea. So I was slightly late start. Well, I wasn't late actually starting, but uh, you wouldn't believe it. But fortunately, I'd set everything up before I took Jasmine off for a nap. Anyway, she wasn't going to sleep. So I lay next to her and pretended to be asleep. I'm sure the mums are aware of this wonderful trick. <laughs> of course, then what happened is I fell asleep and I woke in a panic, bolt upright at about two minutes to one, like <gasps> ran out of the bedroom. I was like, oh my gosh, what time is it? And I was like, Phew, I've got two minutes. I need to, yeah, I forgot. I used to tell mum and dad, like, make sure I don't fall asleep. But I think they've gone off for a little nap as well, so. 
Right, guys, we are pinned. So just to point out, I have pinned uh, this side with all of the fabric on the left so that this is open. And then I've had to do pin on the other side of the skirt for that one. I have no idea what Liverpool fabric is. Sorry. Is the final length shown on the pattern? Uh, yeah, you mean the length on this? Um, ba, 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 ba. Yes, it is. You've got the back skirt length. The back skirt length, 23, 24 inches, three quarters. Oh, someone's making scrubs. Oh, I still have to do mine. But I think Jasmine's dad, Matt, is coming up to see her this weekend, so... That should give mean that I can um, get some uh, get some nice sewing time on. Right, let me plug this on. <sighs> okay, guys. So the seam allowance is one point five centimeters or five eighths of an inch. So we are going to now sew our side seams. Oh, that's falling off. Can we all see? Yep, yeah, coffee, I need coffee. I really do feel like I need coffee today. Mum and dad are big coffee drinkers. I should be, should have put an order in. Hang on a second, waffle, waffle, waffle. We need to put it onto stretchy stitching. So zigzag stitch. And then what we recommend is stitch length one and stitch width 1.5. So if you pop your machines onto that setting. Stitch length one and um, stitch width um, 1.5 and then away we go if you're shorter can you sew the longer version but hem it at the design yeah of course absolutely guys this is such a simple pattern you can just straighten it off at any point you really can make it whatever length you want they look like they're coming away don't you dare come away mr stripes when i've clearly made you so well pinned together and we've also got some bouncing haven't we sorry guys let's not have you all feel seasick by this at the end let's see if i can move it no is that a bit better a little bit better so i had a rather oh hello teresa hi so quake yes the so quake's back i love that we called it that the other day didn't we um, so I went for a, um, a bike ride yesterday. I'm sort of running some days, bike rides other days, nothing other days, just depending. Um, and, uh, oh, it was really sad. So up here in Yorkshire, it's very much lambing season. Lambs are born a lot later than they are in the south of England. And uh, loads of lambs and farms all around here. And I was I passed a, a field of lambs, or oh, sheep, um, on my bike ride and there were lots of clearly um clearly little um newborn lambs um being born um like day old two days old anyway i could see this ewe this uh, female sheep in the um distance looking really distressed and looking like there's quite a lot of blood so I, saw, I sort of pushed my, stopped and ran over to the near and oh gosh it was awful she'd given birth to one of the lambs and that was fine and the other one was stuck and its head was there sorry if anyone's like but yeah the other one was had died in childbirth and was stuck on the way out so i was like oh my gosh this is awful and then of course the other little lamb was really distressed so there i was like got back on my bike and went racing into the fields trying to find the farmer because i didn't know what to do i don't have any experience of farming and Anyway, fortunately, the farmer was actually doing his rounds because it's lambing season. He was out and about doing that. But I was like, look, you need to go quite quickly, I think, over there. Um, and I felt completely, I felt so stupid. I had like big, my, like big kind of <laughs> black glasses on, red lipstick, because I had my lipstick on that stayed on forever after my sew along. And I must have thought, who is this numpty with like red lipstick on telling me what to do about my lambs? I was like, yeah, I'm from round here. I know I look like I'm not, with the stupid red lipstick on. <laughs> anyway, um, I felt that I did the right thing by going to get him, but he was just a bit like, I guess, because he's probably been up since silly o'clock, you know, doing just things like that. And he was a bit like, all right, yeah, no, I'll go over there. Thank you. Anyway, 
Anyone else here? Anyone watching a farmer? Did I do the right thing? Almost getting to the end, guys, of the first seam. And we are going to reverse. I know, ha-ha on the farmer. This is classic Yorkshire, kind of classic Yorkshire. Now here's me going with a big stereotype, but the farmers, you know, I did grow up in this area and a lot of my friends, parents, dads were um, farmers and mums. And uh, yeah, they were always that kind of like, mm, not very helpful, not, not very friendly. Probably because they're so tired. Aww. If you felt good about it at the end, you did, yeah. Oh, perhaps Liverpool is called something different in the UK. Yeah, I don't know what it is. If anybody knows what Liverpool fabric is, please do let us know. I do not know what it is. Anyway, it's very exciting for animals in the village. So we've got the lambs just outside. Oh, thank you, Kim. We've got the lambs just outside. Um, the village so we can kind of get to those and we've got alpacas um in the also um at just outside the village and horses and then we've also got ducks and geese in um the kind of allotments as well just outside the village it's basically surrounded by farming land and so on um her daily little outings with mum and dad um She's going to see them and mum's just said like she went to they didn't mum didn't take her today but the um um apparently she went to see the ducks with the dog as in was walking and went past there <laughs> not to see the ducks with the dog but um the ducks and the geese and or sorry the hens and the geese and there was about 15 little chicks <coughs> so yeah mum's very excited about taking jasmine tomorrow I have to say, you know, I know this is a very difficult time, but what a wonderful time of year if you have got access to the outside, because it's just, you can just see everything progressing and um, it is very uplifting. And my dad will be continuing to doing uh, little videos around the garden, showing everyone what's coming into blossom and also what plants, what, ha what helps them uh, grow, all that sort of thing. If you don't know what I'm talking about, have a look at Lisa Comfort Home on Instagram and you'll see me and my dad talk about our, um, the garden. He's a natural. He's a complete natural on the old camera. And someone was like, somebody, a friend was like, ha, you'll be like the Kardashians soon. It's like, oh gosh, no. <laughs> someone said they like it yeah yeah I don't know I think like I look like my mum I have my mum's face shape um but my dad's coloring so um but yeah he they are being the most amazing grandparents ever at the moment and parents to me just really just helping out so much and making all of this possible so big thanks to Jeremy and Therese um um, but it is very special the time they're getting with Jazzy, so that's lovely. But I just have to remember that they're not my age and they do get more tired. Okay, right. So we have now sewn it together. So that now, guys, what I recommend you do is try it on. I know that it fits, so I'm not going to try mine on, but try it on and check. And then if you want to like, <laughs> oh, thanks. Thank you. Better than the Kardashians. I don't actually know what their talent is, really. Not much, is there? Um, um, yes, so um, try it on and check its bits. And if you need to let it out or take it in, then you can do that. I'm, though, going to plow on with, with carrying on with this, though. Um, so I'm now going to press open the seams with Mr. Iron or Bob. Mr. Iron and Bob. Um, Alex, I'm not sure if you were around for this uh, discussion, 
um, but we have named, well, we couldn't decide on the name for the iron, so we've called him Mr. Iron and Bob. He's become a regular, regular feature in the, <laughs> in the sew-alongs. So pressing the seams open. And if anyone has got any friends that are kind of thinking about getting into sewing or love, this is quite a good, I mean, I wouldn't recommend this is the first thing they sew on a sewing machine, but it's a great little easy dressmaking project for somebody starting out, especially if they use a really nice stable Roma Ponte, because it's lovely to work with. God, these stripes are really making my eyes go funny. Um, Okay, so, oof. that is done, I'm going to turn it the right way around because um, we need it the other way around for when we're sewing it on um, the waistband. So now we're going to take the waistband and placing it right sides together and joining up the short ends. I'm going to make sure my stripes. <laughs> oh, I love that comment about, yeah, I don't know if the Kardashians can iron. Do you think they can iron? Probably not. Never ironed in their lives. Okay, so now we are going to um, stitch that close. We've got a centimetre and a half seam allowance. So we're going to stitch that closed. Ah. Mm. Look at my nails, guys. I put new polish on yesterday. No, Sunday night. My nails are so, they're really weak from having shellac on them too much. So I'm going to give them a break, but it basically just kept chipping off. So I've just cut them down and I'm just going to bear having them like this for a week. Ooh, it's going to be hard. You know I like my red nails. But I need to give them a bit of a break. Now's the time, isn't it? Now's the time. Let everything have a break. Mm -mm -mm. Right, pressing that seam open. Oh, you can't see. I've literally moved that so you can't see anything. I need to pull this down. It's very short. A little bit too short. Um, press that down and then press these wrong sides together, so folding it in half, wrong sides together across the length, okay? And just in case you're joining us just now, just to say the length of this skirt is not the short version. This is shorter than the short version because it was the only fabric I had. So um, it is a little bit short. It's fine if I pull it down, but if I... Um, if I get up without remembering I'm wearing a short skirt, it's a bit indecent. <clears throat> okay, so we now have this. Okay, so this is 90% of this. Gosh, I now need to check that it's, this is, yeah, that is the right shape. So it's the curve there of the hips. It's quite confusing because it does look like it's similar at the bottom, but if you see it's slightly straighter towards the hem and you've got the curve of the hips there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to line up that side seam of the uh, waistband, that one seam rather, with the side seam here. In fact, first, let's just, let's just put, fold it in half like that and let's just mark where the half is on that side. You could, like a neckband, you could find quarters as well. Um, so you could then do it like that into quarters if you wanted to help you keep the easing even. I'll do it. I didn't do it like this for me, but I should probably do things properly, shouldn't I, with you guys? It's not professional integrity and everything. No cutting corners. Um, so that will just give us the quarter points and then those can give us the centre back and centre front. So if you fold your skirt side seams together and then you'll mark 
you'll you can find the center front and the center back. There we go. Okay, so let's start with that. So we'll put that seam on the waistband on one of the side seams. Make sure you're pressing your seams open still. So I pin them. Okay, and then that goes there. So I'm getting that and pinning that here. So that's the other one on the other side, popping that in, lining up that point. I'm gonna just put two pins there so I keep that side seam pressed open. And then you can see how much you've got to do. So I'm gonna pin those two and you can see that's the kind of ease. So there's that much ease. So I do actually think, it's, gosh, this is so much easier putting the quarter pins in <laughs> than what I did. Please do that, guys. Don't do what I did the first time. This is much easier. Um, so, and then just do that center back one. So now we've got them all pinned in four quarters and then we can just work in quarter sections. So what we have to do is that. Can you see that? So you're just stretching the waistband and that will, so you just stretch the waistband, not the skirt, to ease the waistband onto the skirt. Guys, when we come out of lockdown, oh my goodness, we are just going to have whole new wardrobes that no one else will have because we will have sewn them ourselves. And we won't, you know, feel like, you know, we would have got through our stashes. And I tell you, that feels so good, doesn't it? Feeling like you're really using up what you have, making it work. Okay, and then again. Mum's hmm. going somewhere in the car. Don't know where you're going, Mum. I think she's just moving the cars. We are literally just going to the shops, one of us, once a week, apart from me going to the post office. But to say, take your orders. But I have worked out um, that I, um, I've worked out that I can leave the parcels because I, the system that we have, I put them in big royal mail bags, and we have everything right, and I can just leave them outside the shop. I don't even have to go in. Um, so if I get there, kind of just before the postman gets there. So that's really good. So I don't want anyone to feel like I'm putting myself at risk to get your parcels out, because I absolutely am not. And I hope that Rosie's also being as careful as she can be as well. I think she goes really early in the morning first thing and then it's empty. Okay, guys, right. Um, we are now going to stitch that uh, with, all the way around, we've got a centimetre of so a centimetre and a half seam allowance or five eighths of an inch. You don't need to reverse at the beginning. Um, you can reverse when you come back round. And you'll need to just stretch the underside to keep it flat, to making sure you're not putting in any pleats. Take your pins out as you get to them. daisies
Oh, that seam was trying to curl itself back round. Naughty. And I pinned it in the right place as well. Mum's back from her trip. Yes, she was clearly just moving cars. Oh, I know why. We we're trying to get the whole drive free so that Jazzy can play on her scooter back and forth. How are we doing for time? Oh, we've got another 10 minutes. That's fine. We're going to do fine, guys, aren't we? I've waffled quite a lot on this video as well. So we can, uh, I reckon this is definitely an hour cut out and make project. Really nice and quick. Very satisfying. And I'm hoping I'll be able to whip this on for you guys as well so you can see it. Ooh. I'll also get try and get a photo um, of it as well so we can put that up on our Instagram so you can really have a proper look, look photo of it. Okay, I've overlapped and reversed. That is done. Cut my threadies off. Uh, Okie dokie. There's the waistband on. So now what we are going to do, guys, is um, and what we're going to do now is press that. So the seam allowances are going down towards the skirt and then we're going to press the hem up. Now, the hem allowance on this is two centimetres, but Alex is just putting a link up, guys, now to the pattern. If you're watching this after the sew along, there'll be a link to it in the description box. So we're just pressing this. Um, oh, I don't want, yeah, that's fine. Pressing the seam down towards the skirt. I wonder if I need to, I don't think, you could top stitch here, guys, actually. It's up to you whether you want to do that. Um, I mean, to me, I don't feel like I need to, but because it's on the waist, I feel like my waist will hold it down. But if you want to, you could top stitch, like you would on a neck band, you could top stitch here. So on the skirt side, it's like two, three millimetres from, from the seam join there. Um, um, just using the same zigzag stitch. But I'm not going to bother because I don't think I need to have that. And then I'm going to fold up my hem. Now I want this to be as long as possible. Um, so I'm going to fold it up probably by about just over a centimetre but there is two centimetres hem allowance on there. So see whatever you want to do, but you can try it on and adjust the length. Um, and cause it's just your straight skirt, you can just, it's straight, you know, you can just cut it off at any point. You don't need to worry. The only thing is, is if you're quite short from waist to here, then you might need to slice a section out of there if you're shortening it because the shaping of the hip would be in the wrong place if you were to shorten it just from the bottom. Um, did I iron that bit? Yeah. No. Oops. Did I? No. Iony, iony. There. Right. Okay, this is the last bit. Ooh, just checking the time. Right, I'm gonna turn mine the right way round. And I am going to line up the right hand side of the uh, foot with the bottom edge there. And that will be giving me, so, so I'm sewing about five millimeters from, oops, five millimeters from the uh, bottom edge. Now, if you're doing a two centimeter hem, then you want to be sewing at least a centimetre in from there, but ideally probably 1.5. So it's up to you as well what you like the look have, 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 of. If you want a narrow hem, then you can just trim off a bit if you if you want to kind of keep the same length that the hem allowance allows for. Um, but if you, uh, otherwise you can just do the stitching at about a centimetre and a half, five eighths of an inch. And that will catch, catch it, no problem.
Alex, whilst I'm just doing this, can you just check if our uh, kids packs are online and if we've got a link to them? I completely forgot to check with um, Molly before to see whether they'd be up. But the kids packs that I was showing you guys yesterday, we're hopefully gonna get them up online today. Right, back round to the beginning, overlap. Reversey, and then trim off the, the threads. And we are done, guys. I'm gonna give it a little quick press. So there we go. Give it a nice little press. Oh, I'm so excited about this skirt, guys. How quick and nice is that? So there it is. Yes, they are, wonderful. There's the link to them quickly, guys. These packs, if any of you have children and were interested in getting hold of some packs, these packs are now online. Alex has just put a link up to them and we'll pop a link in the description once this is uploaded to YouTube. So if you're watching this past the live time, you'll be able to get them. Um, feathers, little monster eyes, sequins, embroidery threads and 10 pieces of coloured felt. Right, there we go. Love it. I'm going to put on it on quickly. I've got four minutes, guys. Talk amongst yourselves and I'll just quickly pop this on. Yeah. Right, here we go. So, stripey, stripey. I don't know if I'd wear it with something tucked in or not, but there we go. I'm going to stand up on a chair so you can see the length on me. That's the length below the knee. Okay? Woohoo! Oh, it's not probably the uh, the best skirt to wear on uh, climbing up on a chair, but yeah, there we go. We made a skirt, guys, in 45 minutes. Not that speed is everything, but. It is nice to have simple projects, isn't it? Okay, guys, well, I really enjoyed sewing that with you today. Thanks so much for joining me. Thanks to Alex for answering your questions. I hope you all have fun sewing up our sew along skirt. And um, we, um, oh, bless. Lorianne, thank you. Um, if you want to buy us a coffee um, and support us, then please do. Um, there's a link below. Um, and uh, I will be back tomorrow. We're going to be making the ultimate trousers. Yay! And I'm going to show you how to put a waistband on them, which is the version that I love. So I hope I'll see a lot of you then. Have lovely afternoons. Bye.